Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. So me and Tesco, we're back to help you guys get more veg into your life. You're gonna love this recipe. This is my homemade spiced veggie burger. This is tasty and it's fun. And we're gonna serve it up with some beautiful sweet potato fries. And it's got three, yes, three of your five fruit and veg a day in one beautiful meal. So let me show you how to do it. Now, as far as getting more of the good stuff into your body, Little clever swaps can be really, really helpful. I've got some sweet potatoes, a really good little swap. One potato doesn't count as one of your five fruit and veg a day, but sweet potato does. And I think sweet potato with spice is delicious. Put it into nice little wedges. One, two centimeter chunks. Throw those into a little baking dish. Give it a little kiss of some olive oil. Cajun seasoning. It's a great, great little cheat. So you want about two teaspoons. Give it a nice little mix up. So make sure they're nice and flat. This will now go in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. They will be sweet, crispy, and delicious. Let me just wash my hands. So, veggie burger. I've got 400 grams here of frozen sweet corn and peas, which of course is a classic. Frozen veg is amazing. It's nutritious, it's cheap, it's really convenient. And you can have fun with edamame beans, broad beans, broccoli, just Use your imagination. I just put it under some cold water just for like five seconds. Drain it off and then get it in a food processor. The thing that's gonna hold it together and bind it is the flour. 50 grams we need or two heaped tablespoons. So put that in with some pepper and then we're gonna pulse it up. Don't let it go too smooth, right? Keep it nice and chunky and then we're good to go. So have a little look at this. That's the texture that I'm looking for. Not pureed, like nice chunks. You can see how it comes together. So this is enough to make four lovely patties. Before I do that, I want to add a layer of flavor to the outside of this gorgeous veggie patty. So a little flour, because that goes crispy. Then I'll put yet some more Cajun seasoning down. Get a nice large handful. That's enough for a portion. Now roll it in that spice like that and kind of form it into a little patty. Just simply pat it down like that. Look at that. I'm gonna cook two today. So there you go. Little bit of olive oil goes into a pan. Cook these for about 12 minutes, six minutes each side until golden crisp. So let me just have a little wipe down and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so these little patties have had about six minutes. Uh, let's have a little check. Look at that, so lightly golden you can kind of pat it down and just make it go a little bit bigger. Next job, a nice little curveball, but full of flavor. A bit of tinned pineapple. It's gonna give you the most amazing eat. So just one per patty. And then the juice we're gonna use to dress some salad. Put a couple of tablespoons, red wine vinegar for tang. Kiss of oil if you want. Tiny bit of seasoning. So I'm gonna take some iceberg lettuce. Use any lettuce you like, but I like the iceberg. It's sweet. Try and make it as fine as you can. Get it into that dressing and give it a nice little toss. So these patties have had about 10 minutes now. They're looking really, really good. Look at the color of those pineapples. That is really, really nice. With the rolls, cut them in half and let's just toast it up. Running out of space now. Cheese-wise, I'm using cottage cheese. Tub of that, ready to go. Let's build these two awesome burgers. Go in with cottage cheese. Fresh flavors. Boom. Look at the color. Colour's crazy. Got the pineapple, look at that caramelisation. Imagine that. And then just a little bit more cottage cheese. Oh, this is gonna be good. And look, you know, I'm a massive fan of beef burgers. I love them. But it's good to change things up, right? And my family love these. I love a little bit of chilli sauce, so that's an optional. And then the lid. And not to forget, coming in is those gorgeous, crispy sweet potatoes with your third portion of veg. Look at that. Can you see how these have also caramelized? Got gnarly. So there you go, guys. That is my homemade spiced veggie burgers with sweet potato fries. That's a picture right there, full of color. Let's just cut this burger in half. Look at that, amazing color. It's gonna get messy, guys, so let's just go for it. Mmm. Sorry. That is, that's delicious. It's properly messy. I'm loving the Cajun spice with the sweetness of the sweet corn and the peas. Mm. What are you waiting for? Get down to Tesco, get the ingredients and cook some up. You're gonna love it.